We're going to cover the first uh, set of formulas for series circuit that deals with inductors. Very similar to our uh, series circuits in, in uh, DC. Just add them up, L1 plus L2 plus L3, and you get your total inductance. In this case, the values that we have are in, are in millihenries. L1 is 10 millihenries, L2 is 105 millihenries, L3 is 70 millihenries. As long as the prefix is the same, we don't have to change it to its base value. If the prefixes was different, for example, if this was micro, we would have to convert them to all the same prefixes or their base value. In this case, they're the same and the outcome would be the same as well. Okay, in this case, we get 185 millihenries. We plug it into our inductive reactants formula, 2 pi FL, and I got the sub T to indicate total. So 2 times pi times the frequency of 60 hertz times 0.185, we get a value of 69.74 ohms. And that is the total inductive reactance of this circuit. Now, another method of doing it, since it is very similar to DC, total inductive reactance is also equal to X of L1 plus X of L2 plus X of L3. In this case, what we did, we found the inductive reactance of each individual component and, and saved it into our calculators. So X of L1, using the 2 pi FL formula, gave us 3.769. X of L2 gave us 39.58 ohms. X of L3 gave us 26.38 ohms. Saving these into the calculators and then adding them up gave us a value of 69.74 ohms, which we see is identical of doing it the first method. Either way you want to do it is fine. This method is shorter. In some cases, you may need to do the long method when we start getting into calculating voltage drops for each component. Cut. Okay.